What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us. My name is Rakari, and I'm here today with Connor, who is a game designer on Crimson Dragon, and he is going to walk us through setting some high scores. Now, in Crimson Dragon, you can not only S rank a mission, but you also get, besides a letter grade, a score as well, right, Connor? Yeah, yeah you get a high score. So he's going to take us through, give us some tips and tricks, and really show you guys how to get those top spots on the leaderboard. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to you. Yeah, sure. So the mission we're on right now is Plague of Vespin. Uh This is one of the earlier missions in the game. Um, it is in the Coral Lake East region. I'm using a Silvertail um, uh, Radiance, which is the third evolution of the Silvertail Dragon, a very powerful lightning dragon. Uh, I'm using an attack ampule, uh, which is great for getting more damage out there faster. Uh, and I also have a deflector shield as my secondary. Uh, these are all picked with specific intent. Um, one of the things you can see me doing right now, actually, is these Vespin Hives. They spawn Vespin, right? And in Crimson Dragon, anytime you destroy an enemy, you get point values for it. Um, and so basically, I'm just kind of setting up here my uh, reticles right of the, the eye so I don't destroy it. And if I keep attacking the Vespin that come out, I get points for it. So I basically just sit here and milk points from this high. So you're farming. Exactly. I'm basically farming points until I'm ready to move on. I destroy it and I can keep going from here. So the reason I bring my uh, my silver tail is because most enemies I'm facing here are Vespin. They're fire creatures. Obviously, we have an elemental system in the game, uh, which makes the... Uh, Lightning do more damage to the fire creatures, so I get a bonus, which means I kill them faster. And the faster you kill an enemy, the more points you get for doing it. So it's all about speed and accuracy when you want to get that high score. It's also about making sacrifices. As you saw in that last objective there with this dragon, destroying the hives, I got a P rank. I didn't destroy the hives as fast as possible, but the reason being was I was trying to milk more points out of those hives. And so you kind of have to accept the fact that you might take a hit on some of your ranks, you're getting a higher score overall at the end of the mission, and that's the goal right now, is to get as high a score as you possibly can. Now, the reason I brought my deflector shield, if you just saw before, um, I actually was able to deflect a few shots, and every time you eat a bullet or deflect shots, it gives you a small amount of points. It's usually 10 to 30 points, it's not a whole lot, but if you have a lot of incoming fire, it's a great way to give yourself some breathing room and get some extra points on the side. This you don't take the damage. Exactly, you don't take the damage. And this particular shield is the deflector shield, so if it takes enough uh, damage and soaks it up, it'll actually redirect it back at the enemies. So, in these sections here for the beacon grabs, uh, you might as well just go for the max score. There's not really any enemies on the screen that I can focus on. So the best thing you can do for yourself here is just get all the beacons, get that S rank, and then focus on the leader parts of the mission. Now that's just this mission, though, right? There are some missions that throw enemies at you while you're trying to the Oh, sure. And if I had not destroyed those anglers that we saw before as quickly, they would be kind of uh, flying alongside me in that section as well. So I would, I would have to be attacking them. So here we come to the last section of the mission, um, and this is the big Vespin hive you have to take out. So there's going to be a lot of Vespin flying around. I'm going to use some of my special abilities to destroy them. Um, and just see what I can do there to, to get the most possible score. Um, again, I don't want to destroy the hive too quickly, so I have to be very precise with where I aim to make sure that my attacks aren't inadvertently hitting the hive. So you see I can just wipe out these guys pretty quickly. Now what's going to happen is Raging Vest are going to come in. And again, the faster you kill the enemies, you get the more points you get. So I'm going to try to take them out as fast as, as possible. But you're not going to try to destroy the hive. Exactly. But as you see, I got 1,500 points just for destroying that one Vespin. Now this hive in particular, um, this gives you only about 5,000 points if you destroy the hive. So you can get an S rank and destroy the hive very quickly, but I just got 1,500 points for killing one Raging Vespin, right? So all I need to do is kill four Raging Vespin, and I've already kind of counteracted the, the point value I get for destroying the hive. So I'm just going to sit here for as long as I can, use my special abilities, take out a lot of these enemies, and it's just going to keep giving you more and more score. So that's the best way to kind of approach this situation. Um, as we're moving forward here, we want to see how we do, so in a few seconds here I'm going to take out the hives so we can finish up these missions, but you can theoretically sit here for several minutes at a time and really get your sky fighter, your score up there. So for anybody who's watching right now, I challenge you guys to take uh, maybe your silver tail or, or one of the vision-based uh, creatures into this mission and see if you can beat my score. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to take out the hive really quick. You're not going to do that until you done better. Okay, All right. And I'm, I'm limited by time here, so I'm expecting you to do much better than I am. Video 2 coming out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two, I mean, you, five know, right, so you ended up here with 124,000, right? Yeah, I think it's about 124,000 points. We'll see it real quick right at the end of yeah. this video, but it is... Uh, you ended up top 10 in the yeah, world. Yeah, I think, I think I'm ranked 8 just by doing this. And I could have, theoretically, as I said before, just kind of sit there and milk it for a little bit more, uh, destroy a few more best spin, uh, just be very focused with my attacks, but, you know, in the interest of time, we're going to cut it down. And I could have done that in the previous uh, highs as well. So, as you can see here, 124,000 points, pretty good score.